Now, the homeless were ordered out of this camp way back on February 5th, and you can see what good that has done now. One of the campers here is under arrest for assaulting an 11 year old girl, and many are wondering what it's going to take for the city to take action. One of the homeless encampment individuals walked over, reached up, you know, sexually grabbed one of my students and then took off down the road. Kent Charette says he's worried about something like this happening for the past month, ever since this illegal homeless camp appeared right across the street from his gymnastics academy. An apparently inebriated man swooping in and assaulting an 11 year old girl as she made the short walk to her mom's car. Well, it's infuriating. That little girl's mother, whose identity we're protecting, is demanding the city close this camp immediately. It was horrifying and you never think something like that's going to happen to your child, especially in a place where she feels safe and comfortable. Bellingham police were able to quickly arrest the suspect, but the problem remains. This camp is what's left over from another camp that sat outside Bellingham City Hall for three months. Issues there included arsons, assaults, even a hatchet attack. The city finally swept that camp, but the problems have just moved over here. Charette says Absolutely. the mayor has been no help. Does it surprise you what happened out here? It doesn't surprise me. You know, we called this a long time ago. We sent, like I said, we sent countless letters, emails. Every day now, something worse is happening, and what's it going to take? This is what I've been, like, having nightmares about, worrying about what was going to happen. I worry about a kid getting kidnapped. I worry about somebody having a weapon. I worry about just the emotional and the mental trauma that's going to come for that. For now, an even closer eye is being kept on kids at the academy as one family tries to heal their little girl, hoping another doesn't fall victim. It shouldn't take a child being accosted to have the laws enforced. We've repeatedly asked Mayor Seth Fleetwood to sit down with us for an interview about this issue, but he has been unavailable. A spokesperson today tells us that the city is moving forward with plans to remove the camp. They say there is a temporary plan possibly in place involving the port of Bellingham, but there is no timeline for that yet. Live in Bellingham tonight, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.